Okay, my name is uh, Lanyero Faith Irene from Uganda Textile Garments Leather and Allied Workers Union. I also coordinate the Clean Cloth Campaign, which is ongoing, which is under the Pay Your Workers Respect Labour Rights uh, campaign. And we are also affiliated to Industrial Global Union, uh, which is a global union federation representing workers in all spheres at the industry level. So today we are here for the aspect of Pay Your Workers Respect Labour Rights campaign that took place on the 11th of May. Uh, 2023 at one of the stores of Adidas in Kampala and this is a pay, work, pay your workers uh, respect labor rights campaign is a campaign that runs across 285 uh, labor unions across the world it's a global campaign that is looking at the issue of respecting labor rights at the textile uh, garment facilities across the world and Adidas happens to be one of them so an ordeal happened that we went to the uh, one of the Adidas stores uh, along one of the places in Kampala and when we reached the store definitely we had to deliver our letter our campaign letter that was ongoing because the campaign was cutting across the different countries across the world uh, that particular day so on delivery of the letter we came out of the store to take a couple of pictures where we were arrested immediately uh, without notice that we were violating um, uh, the, the, the space so unions lately have been going on with uh, unionization across the supply chain because highly, highly many workers are affected and in most cases their rights are not recognized within the supply chain. So the Pay Your Workers Respect Labor Rights is in support of all the workers who have been violated against. So in this instance, we will see that most of the companies come here uh, under the multinational uh, line. They come in place, put up existence here, but registered in different names. So you'll find that the name that is Adidas, maybe Adidas at a, at a global level, but when you come to Uganda, you'll find it in a different name altogether or different entity uh, of registration. So this is affecting unionization in a way. As unions, we are mandated to organize across all levels, like um, within the supply chain. So at the end of the day, Unions are crippled in a way that most of the workers who work within the supply chains don't have an entity, don't have a, a space as themselves. You find that most of the employers are disowning these workers. They will say that they are not our workers, yet they are, yet they are part of them. So unions um, are really challenged on that and it is uh, letting to the low levels of the union density. This appeal goes to all the biggest investors across the world that they should know that all countries uh, in this world have labor laws that they have to adhere to. So it doesn't necessarily mean that when you run away from one country and come and rebrand yourself in another country that you should not respect the labor laws of that country. In this particular, the Pay Your Workers Respect Labor Rights was looking at the 560 employers of Cambodia at Hulu uh, one station, uh, one workplace that was violated against during the COVID-19 pandemic where the severance pay weren't, wasn't paid. So all employers have to adhere to this. There are labor laws. We need to respect labor rights that are in place because at the end of the day, it's the rights of the, the workers that matter and the labor laws of the country that need to be implemented and looked up into. And I would like also to address on the issue of the, the arrests of activists uh, during action. In this instance, we had gone to a store and it was an action that we were to deliver this letter to the store. So in a way, when we bring out the aspect of public order management uh, acts, 
which is in place, it stops a convergence of about five people, which is a hindrance to unions because trade unions by nature are activists. So at the end of the day also the law in a way contradicts itself because we as trade unions are exempted from such uh, laws like we are able to, if we are having a meeting as a trade union, it's easy, we should be able to access facilities that have our members. So at the end of the day, the law stops us and it hinders us from organizing and recruiting members and also addressing our members amicably. Mm -hmm.